eighteen dollars a month. Why on earth do we need that much? Well, so it's two things. We've got to pay our sanitation workers competitive rates if we're going to fill crews that are capable of keeping up with the city's demands. Are we understaffed right now? Oh, absolutely. We're budgeted for 46. We actually have 38 on payroll. But the truth is, is if you talk to people down at Public Works, like superintendent and or the interim director, they're going to tell you we need 60 p drivers to cover all of the demands, including bulk pickup. And curbside pickup. Just drivers now. Yes. In a, and then crews on top of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I think we have 86 total people working in public works right now. Just so so you you want to boost their pay to $15 an hour. Is that all of them or just the drivers? Just the CDL drivers. And it's uh, not hitting 15 on the dime. We need to get them over $15 an hour. Okay. Um, are they leaving... Is it pretty steady, one, two a week? Or are they going to private companies, Bozier, you know, et cetera? Uh, well, so it's not just like a um, like a like, like a steady leak of employees out, but there have been people who've left and gone elsewhere, um, or just finding other lines of work and enabled them to take care of their family. Okay, Ben, you 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 and I don't may, you may not know this about me, but I'm a money geek. Oh, goodness. and when I got the city budget back in October, November, whenever I had, was handed Stephanie Lynch's copy. Because she didn't want to read it. Um, <laughs> Good morning, Steph. Good morning, Steph. We're, uh, anxiously said, awaiting those Facebook messages. I saw that reserve fund and I thought, this is irresponsible. Mm. And and I said that on the air many times. And I and throughout the, the, the city council, rate, we have got to do something about that reserve fund. How much of this money, this $18 fee, will go to shore up that? Because I'm all about that. Okay, so let's think about it like this then. So it's not so much about, let's say, which percentage, what percentage of this fee will be diverted towards our reserves. A, the, the, maybe a, more, a better way of thinking about it would be to say the city currently subsidizes solid waste collection to the tune of $8.4 million a year. We will stop doing that, which means that that money is no longer going to be allocated for subsidizing that service. And now money can just begin to fill back up in our reserves. So it's not like saying, like, let's earmark mm -hmm. this amount that will go that way. It's saying the reason or a large reason why the reserves are deplenished is because we're having to subsidize a service that virtually no other city is doing. You know, that's an interesting point because I ran into a couple of Bozier friends yesterday. And they had been listening and they heard the story and their first reaction, even as Bozier guys, was sort of, wait a second, 18 bucks a month. It, it's Look at that. He's been in office two weeks. And... And I said, hold on a second. And I don't mean to be carrying the water for the mayor, not at all. He's got people to do that. But the point is, these guys in Bozier that are going, Shreveport, $18 a month fee. And I said, well, what do you pay in Bozier? And they were like 34 and 52 because one of them lived outside the city. Comparatively, and Aaron did the studies yesterday, mm -hmm. that 18 a month is, is all it's things. It's the lowest. It's all things being equal. It's... It's yeah, that's a bargain. Yeah, I heard the interview. I think it was yesterday with Councilman uh, Butcher. Mm -hmm. And when you asked him the question, um, you know, how does it compare? Um, he, he mentioned that, that it's pretty average. And um, I, I would even go further and say it's at the lower end of the spectrum. I mean, uh, there's a couple of cities I've been able to identify that have lower sanitation fees, but mm -hmm. they're not really peer cities. They're not comparable in size. You're talking about like cities like Monroe, right? which is, uh, what, what is it, like 22 square miles? And then cities like Lafayette, they're like 52 square miles where a Shreveport sanitation has to cover a 122 square mile area. And so, I mean, th th it's just not, those are apples and oranges. Um, when you look at um, Shreve, the proposed sanitation fee from the mayor, it really is a it's 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 a low figure. 